Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Monday the 23rd of September 2019 and we're briefly discussing China and gold and why its central bank is so keen on buying it. Let's investigate. Yesterday, we published a video entitled Reuters Report Warns of Tepid Gold Demand, where we highlighted that demand from Asia in the past couple of weeks has been tepid at best, and from India in particular. We highlighted that one, Indian dealers were offering steep discounts of around $47 an ounce, two, Singapore premiums narrow to 55 cents to 75 cents an ounce and three Chinese premiums were little changed at $10 an ounce. Supporting the fact that gold dealers were becoming anxious to sell gold by reducing premiums and offering considerable discounts. Now we concluded that video podcast by stating that one should not be concerned about this and we also added a very important sentence which leads on to our video podcast today and it is this quote also central banks are still buying gold at record levels and that there are sufficient geopolitical concerns to keep the gold market buoyant unquote. now it's china and the pboc the people's bank of china we wish to focus on today and perhaps explain in a little more detail why that central bank is so keen to acquire gold, preferably, of course, at lower prices, but even at current ones. Now, the prime reason is the value of the yuan. Let us explain. The recent rise in gold prices has led to gold hitting all-time highs in a number of countries' currencies, many of which we have previously reported on, namely the UK, Canada, Australia, India, Japan, South Africa and China. Even in the United States, gold has surpassed $1,500, the highest level for six years, though some $400 off its all-time high. Now, the main reason for the flight to gold are many, but most highlighted include, one, the China-US trade war, Two, global economic deterioration, with many parts of the world entering into or about to enter into a recession. Three, equity markets currently at virtually all-time highs, with many expecting that bubble to burst and soon. Four, geopolitical uncertainty, and especially military uncertainty, with Iran and North Korea. And five, one of the most secure investment alternatives to equities government bonds or treasuries in many countries now offering either 0% yield or negative yields. So getting back to China specifically, now the figures we're going to quote are official figures and primarily based on China's imports of gold. We fully accept that the figures could be considerably high and probably are, especially as China does not report the figures of gold holdings that it mines itself within its own boundaries. Now in 2000, China held at its central bank approximately 395 tonnes of gold. By the second quarter of 2019, this figure stood at 1,926.53 tonnes. And by the third quarter of this year, new figures out show an all-time gold holding of 1,936.49 tonnes. Now this officially places China as the sixth largest holder of gold reserves at its central bank, with the US being the largest with 8,133 tonnes, followed by Germany with 3,366 tonnes, Italy with 2,451 tonnes, 
France with 2,436 tonnes, and Russia with 2,219 tonnes, with Canada at the bottom with zero gold, having recently sold it all off. Now, listeners to this channel are very well aware that not a month passes by without us mentioning China in some regard, and most often the fact that they are acquiring gold at an aggressive rate. Sometimes, when the price rises, their volume of demand falls, only to be resurrected again when prices pull back. However, in recent months, China's gold buying, at least at the central bank level, has been constant and strong, despite rising prices. The key reason for this is the dramatic fall in price of the Chinese Yuan and especially since they basically depecked from the US dollar back in 2015 and then allowed the yuan to fall below 7 US dollars only recently. Which is why President Trump has continually attacked them as being currency manipulators. Now put yourself into the minds of the POBC officials. Until now you've had growth rates in high single figures and previously in double figures, which gradually have been falling. You are now in a trade war with the US and possibly for the first time since 1990, your GDP growth rate may actually fall below 6%. You try and prevent this growth slowdown by creating additional credit for businesses, lowering interest rates, boosting consumer demand and devaluing your currency or allowing it to devalue. However, banks have to hold reserves, otherwise confidence in their banking system and in the currency will erode dramatically. These reserves vary and are often held in other countries' treasuries or bonds or debt instruments or currencies. In fact, China's foreign exchange reserves rose to $3.11 trillion in August of this year. We reported on that previously. But we've already mentioned that treasuries are becoming less attractive as they move into negative interest yielding territory. So much so, of all of the alternative available options open to it, gold makes the most sense. Yes, they could buy fine art and wine and antiques and collectibles, but where is it going to store them and how can they liquidate them or turn them into cash quickly when required? The answer is gold and especially as it had become cheap in relative terms though its price is rising quite dramatically recently. It is through this acquisition that they maintain buying prices because as the yuan falls naturally other items that they wish to buy, other assets, become relatively more expensive. So by owning gold, if they need to, they can use that gold, which has held up well against other asset classes, to make those future purchases. Now there is no doubt in our mind, and especially with a global recession on the cards, and central banks around the world committed to lower interest rates and programs of QE or quantitative easing, and with bond yields turning negative, that gold will be the go-to place for investment monies requiring safe haven properties. China will no doubt continue on its currency devaluation path as far as it can, and therefore will propose to top up its reserves with even more gold for it becomes even too expensive for them. Will there be gold price pullbacks and blips on the way? Of course there will be, as no doubt one day there will be a gold price bubble that will burst. But we are a long way from that scenario, and so gradual gold accumulation by China's central bank will continue, and from other central banks too. Not so sure about Canada, especially those from Asia and emerging market economies, while at least they can afford to buy it. What do you think? Do share your views. 
We hope you have found this video interesting and informative. And if so, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. Please ensure that you have subscribed to our channel and press the bell sign so that you are notified of any future videos. Also kindly visit our website at IlluminatiSilver.com and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe either as a free or paying member for regular email updates and offers. Disclaimer. Illuminati Silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners. Glory, glory, glory.